somewhere back there. American Airlines Center, which, by the way, gets that new logo up, put on, supposedly, today. Uh, even Dallas Mavericks broadcaster Derek Harper is going to need a program when the team takes the court this season. He's going to be going. Some new guys. Guy again. Yeah, uh, big changes, major makeover, yeah. new faces, new young players, which mm -hmm. is exciting, always. Absolutely. And some veterans, people are going to go, he plays for the Mavericks now? Well, even the guy you're bringing back in Devin Harris, the guy that was with the Mavericks early in his career, he's back. Yeah, I think in order to have success as an NBA franchise, NBA basketball team, you need good backcourt play. And I think that's where Dallas has really done better, uh, has done a good job during the offseason, adding Devin Harris, Cal Deron, mm -hmm. the guy that can really play, and Monte Ellis from uh, Milwaukee, a guy that can really score the basketball. So it'll be exciting. Right, and, and uh, Cal Deron uh, is... And he's got a few miles on him. You, you were, was he 31? He's 31, but for a point guard, that's not a lot of miles. Yeah. He, he's a guy that doesn't turn the basketball over. He, his decision-making is really keen, and that's what you need. I, I could name you 12 games last year where Dallas really struggled as a basketball team, late in games, executing, getting what they wanted on the offensive end from an efficient standpoint. So I think he helps in that regard. Okay, talk about Monte Ellis, because uh, he's going to be an unfamiliar commodity to a lot of Mavericks fans. Well, simply Batman to uh, Robin to Batman. He's going to be the guy that takes some of the pressure off of Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk, clearly the go-to guy on this team offensively, but you add a guy like Monte Ellis, and I think he can create a lot of offense, not only for himself, but for other guys that's on the floor. Okay, I, and now the real reason you're here, yeah. and the important reason that. you're here, <laughs> you got signed up for a big deal up in yeah. Collin County, and it's uh, it, it's a remarkable organization. You yeah. became familiar with it. I heard about it years ago. Mm -hmm. City House. Uh, called City House. What City is City House? House? City House is strong. It's really a, uh, a solid charity, uh, a charity that actually provides housing for kids that don't have anywhere to live. I'm a parent, I just couldn't imagine my, my kids not having anywhere to, to go. Um, City House provides that, it's a great organization. I got a phone call from the Mavericks. They were looking for somewhat of a sponsor or someone to put their name on, a chairperson I should say. And I was all over it. You know, Alberson is our, our sponsor for this gala that we're going to have September 7th, and you should come out. It'll be a whole lot of fun. Right. Yeah, it is going to be a ton of fun. And you think charity gala, and you're thinking, oh, my gosh. But you got some great MCs for the event. Uh, ben and Skin, two of my favorite guys, are going to be there for the MC part of it. Right. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Right. So there's going to be a lot of food, lots of music. Yep. Uh, maybe a, a lot of tickets left. Yeah. There are some tickets left. Mm -hmm. We're at about 624 now trying to get up to 800 so there's still some tickets available if you want to attend right and and one of the really important things this organization does houses kids who are a little bit older we're not mm -hmm. talking about infants toddlers no yeah, we're not yeah, we're talking about kids 14 15 16 years old right who are no longer in the family house right. for one reason or another and it was fascinating how it started with a couple of teachers in Plano well, when I took the visit, I got an opportunity to actually meet those teachers that you're talking mm -hmm. about. And I, I took my hat off them. You have to commend people that are willing to stand in the gap and make a difference for kids, like you mentioned, 16, 17 years old. And you know, what struck me is that Frisco, Plano, when you think of those cities, very prominent cities, you don't think homeless. Right. But it's out there, and it happens all the time where kids don't have, have any shelter. And I think uh, they deserve a lot of credit in, in offering what they do at City right. House. And those two teachers literally saw the kids living out of their lockers yep. at school and thought, something is wrong here. we got to do something. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there's your opportunity to help at the uh, City House Gala, 25th anniversary at the Embassy Suites in Frisco. On the 7th of September, we've got more information on myfoxdfw.com. Thanks a bunch. Appreciate it. Yep. Got more to come here on Good Day. Kids back in school and the <laughs>